It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Thursday, March the 21st. I'm Michael Groff. Conditions drying out, temperatures warming up for the rest of the week and heading into the weekend, but it will be a short-lived warming trend because a potent trough coming into the western states brings breezy and cooler conditions by Sunday. And yeah, a chance at some showers and some mountain snow as well. We'll get into the particulars as to where, when, and how much rain there could be. And what about the weather for next week as we dive on in and discuss. First, the almanac from yesterday, a repeat of Tuesday with the afternoon high of 80, the morning low 54, 79 and 55 are the averages. And hey, we did see a few surprise showers and thunderstorms yesterday afternoon that rolled in from the north and even provided two hundredths of an inch of rain officially at Sky Harbor Airport. Some of you saw a little bit more than that. There, of course, were many of you that didn't see any rain at all. But most of the valley saw some gusty winds. Kind of interesting. We've had more showers and thunderstorms rolling into the valley uh, the last few days than we did all of last summer. Kind of interesting stuff. All right, as we take a look at the upper air weather pattern across the nation, that upper low that's just been spinning around the southwest since late last week, well, it is finally moving out, opening up into a wave, and it's out of here. And even though we could see another shower or two across eastern Arizona today, uh, the chance of rain in Phoenix for this afternoon near zero, so we won't have to worry about that. Temperatures will be warming up. But another trough is developing off the west coast, and that's going to be coming in here by this weekend to bring another round of cooler and unsettled conditions. The watch warning map, we've got those winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings that extend from Montana eastward into the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Convective outlook for today. How about the slight risk of severe storms around Houston, Galveston? There is a severe thunderstorm watch down there this morning as well. And here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through Thursday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, generally under one-tenth of an inch. But just to the north and east of us over the higher terrain, there could be a little bit more than that. But rain amounts will generally be under one-half inch. We'll talk about what's going on with this weather pattern in more detail. To do that, let's get to the models, see what the future may hold. Here we go, the GFS. This is the 12Z run, and it's valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Okay, our upper low that was around here for the last week or so, that's moving off into the Plain States as an open wave, providing some showers and storms there. High pressure is in control for us today and what it means down at the surface. We'll see sunny sky for the rest of the day today. High temperatures topping out in the low to mid 80s. So temps a little bit above average for tonight. With mostly clear sky, we'll see lows in the 50s and then tomorrow. Sunny in the morning, partly sunny by the afternoon. High temperatures once again topping out in the low to mid 80s. On Saturday, here comes a trough coming into the western states. This is a fairly cold trough for this time of year, but it will be moving relatively quickly. So we'll see an increase in clouds by uh, through the day on Saturday and becoming mostly cloudy by afternoon. Breezy conditions pick up at times too. High temperatures a little cooler, upper 70s to low 80s. Rain may start to come into parts of the state by Saturday evening, but I think the day on Saturday for us stays dry. You do note the rain and snow off to the west and north of us, though. Then on Sunday, here comes the trough coming on through. Now, it's a positively tilted trough. It's moving relatively quickly. It's not going to have a lot of time to pick up deep Pacific moisture or tropical moisture. Nevertheless, since it is a fairly cold system, it will have the dynamics necessary to produce at least some scattered showers, especially across northern and eastern Arizona, the higher terrain areas, as always, uh, get the better chance of precipitation. But we could see a few showers uh, across south central Arizona, including Phoenix, through the day on Sunday. Not a washout by any means, but partly to mostly cloudy sky and that ever-present chance at showers will put a 30% chance of rain in the forecast. The rain won't be anything overly heavy and overly widespread, but just something to be aware of. And it will be breezy to locally windy at times and cooler. High temperatures mid to upper 60s for the day on Sunday. Monday, uh, the system begins to move out of here. Partly sunny in the morning, more sun by the afternoon. High temperatures should top out somewhere in the upper 60s to low 70s, maybe a degree or two warmer on Tuesday. By Wednesday, here comes another trough into the western states. Now, this one... Not as deep and probably going to stay just to the north of us. We could see some showers moving into northern Arizona by late Wednesday and into next Thursday. But overall, uh, for us, 
This may result in breezy and somewhat cooler temperatures, but that's going to be about it. At least that's how it looks for now. Of course, that can change. A week from today, this is uh, Thursday the 28th. That trough is passing us by. Another one is setting up shop off of the Pacific Northwest Coast and a dry northwesterly flow for us. And uh, that looks like temperatures at or maybe just a degree or three shy of average. Going out 10 days, Saturday the 30th. Deepening trough off the West Coast, the eventual evolution of that is still yet to be determined. High pressure is in control in the meantime, and that's going to result in a warming trend with highs probably getting back up in the 80s. Look at a rainfall for Phoenix. This goes out through the 4th of April. It's off the GFS Ensemble. And uh, that control member is up at about an inch and a quarter. The Ensemble mean is about a quarter of an inch. Uh, so quite a spread here among the models. How about that? And then the European Ensemble... A little bit of a spread here, too. The the control member, interestingly enough, is up at about three quarters of an inch or just a, above that with the ensemble means still around a quarter, actually a little over a quarter of an inch. Temperatures off the national blend of models. Warm today, tomorrow, Saturday, high temperatures up in the mid 80s. But then we'll cool it off for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and warming it up gradually as we go deeper into next week. Uh, but that may be a short lived warming trend, depending on how uh, the overall weather pattern plays out. It looks like a fairly progressive pattern may be with us, so we'll see kind of this yo-yo of temperatures, as we often do see here in the month of March. And that is going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning, and should you happen to enjoy these videos, and of course you do, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions if you really like what we do here and you want to support us monetarily, then you can click that thanks icon below the video here on YouTube. Make those monetary contributions, $2, $5, all of which, particularly that last amount, would really help in the furtherance of this channel and keep us going. But all of your support is appreciated, even if you don't donate to us. All right, the executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and the proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. For whom? By the way, I, I need to make a banner to put up here so I can show you SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. You know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about my Michelle. Please check her out. Check out her videos. Check out uh, all that she does. So I, I have all that linked up down in the description. And of course, what else am I encouraging you to do? Well, check out our streaming station. It's called KMGX. We play a ton of music and have a lot of fun with that, too. That is also linked up down in the description. <clears throat> all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support. So greatly appreciated. Please be safe out there and have yourselves a beautiful rest of your Thursday.